Yo, this is our first community coaching video. We have got Scotty Young up. I'm so excited to get in and review this one. But hey guys, if you want me to review your gameplay, if this is something you're interested in, DM me a link to a YouTube video that you've uploaded. If you've gotten a game where you've gotten at least over five kills and made it into the top 10, I would love to review your content. But for now, let's jump into Scotty's. Alrighty guys, this is my first viewing of this gameplay of Scotty. So we're gonna be learning it together, breaking down areas that he's done really well and can do maybe better. All right, let's have a look, let's pause it. Let's try to find out what his loadout is. What is he looking at? Looks like he's got the Snowstorm, the PPSH Vanguard. No, what's he going for? Farah. He's going for the Farah and the Sikop. Ghost off rip. Okay, interesting play. Ghost off rip, swapping out his gun. So he's got... Oh, my God. Get sniped off rip. Let's see what he does here, how he handles this situation. Crawls into a bush, which is great. He's aware that the guy is to his right side. You could see that coming in. Now... Okay, so armoring up in the bush. Here, I would not be staying at this bush. In my opinion, this guy is pushing me, right? I'm going to be trying to get some cover. I'm especially gone already. Like, I'm I'm moving to get cover. I know if I if I bring up my little my little pen here, I, uh, this one here, I know he's come from this direction, right? So I'm going to be trying to cut and, uh, try and find some cover to protect me from this side. So let's keep going, and we'll see what our boy does here. Uh, hopefully gets himself out of this tricky, tricky situation here. Bring back my cursor. Yeah, sitting still for way too long. Way, way too long. Heart, this guy's moved. You got to be getting that cover ASAP. Great work to get the bush when you went down. Res, even stay in there to armor if you want to, but then move, like get going. Also, that looks like that's your Pharah that's still there. So I don't know what your secondary gun is currently. Um, also, not sure what happened at the beginning of this game. He's got two kills. The recording wasn't running. I believe someone pushed him in the helicopter, he told me. He killed the guy, took his helicopter, ended up here with loadout. So we're in zone three already, guys. So we missed a lot of that beginning kind of boring looting stuff. So that's good. Man, how long have we been here, Scotty? This is, this is dangerous. It's okay that the pace is slow, but this is dangerous. It is 1 minute 27. Let's rewind from where you rezzed. Let's go back from where... Okay, so here you're armoring up. What are we playing at right now? 24. You were there for a whole minute laying in the same bush, Scotty. This is risky. The the pace, as I said, is fine because we'll, we'll work our way around that. Um, as in different people are going to play at different paces. The, the issue here is that he's rotating above you. You have no idea where he is because you haven't got to a point where you can angle to see him. So what I would have been doing there is moving around, trying to get visual on the guy who sniped you. Luckily for you, homie, he didn't push you. You got this chopper. You got out of dodge. Well done. Good work, good work to get out of there. All right, so now we're resetting. Looking like he's eyeing up this buy station. What's he going to opt for here? He's got 11,000 in cash. Going for that self-res. Fair call. And a UAV. Nice. Aggressive. I like that. Instantly. There it is. We see the guy. Dropping the pin. Please tell me you drop it. You know he's flying. Oh, no. He's, he's down. He's walking. He's walking. He's just hustling. He's hustling hard. Great pin drop. You see him now underneath you here. That's fantastic. Lands the heli on the roof. Aggressive play by our boy Scotty. Nope. Decides to opt out on that. Didn't like the fight. That, that's fair enough. You're looking at the UAV. You got a few other people around. Uh, probably have muted the sound here. Editor Sam will have done that. There's a bit of music on the heli, so I will have I will have dropped the audio. So you'll just be listening to my beautiful voice, but that's totally fine. Opted out of the guy in the house. I'm not sure exactly why, but ping this other dude. Guy's just hanging out, waiting, waiting for you. So it looks like this video is from Crandolph days. Uh, or Crumpus, sorry. Crumpus days. So that's that's kind of fun. I like that. I like that. It was always a bug where if you went to where he was, it was like bugged out. Coming back to a different building. So now the issue is that we've lost eyes and visual on Homeboy that was in the other building. Wanting to get something from this buy station i'm guessing but unsure of where this original guy is well there, there's the big dog big dog himself he's what in tarnation krampus you absolute animal hits him with one snowball and causes the flipper rooski scotty gets out of the flipper rooski like an absolute champion thumbs up for that one straight on the armor Cramp has always been a bit of a, a bit of a rascal. 
Never seen him cause a helicopter to do the flipper ski though. So that was an interesting behavior there. Now, what are we going to do here? We know we've got a player near us. Don't know where they are anymore. And we've got Krampus giving away our position. This is a tricky situation to be in. I'm assuming that everyone's aggressive and everyone's wanting to push me, which means I'm assuming that that guy that we landed the heli on the roof of earlier is trying to get into a position to take us out when we rotate. Thankfully, Krampus has seemed to have left us alone, so that's brilliant. Brilliant. Good work, Scotty. Now... I, this is not the Farah that you had, and I'm not sure why you opted for your Farah Ghost. Potentially, you already had your loadout, as we did miss the beginning. I'm unsure. Potentially, you already had your loadout, so that's why you were just getting Ghost. It wasn't about the Farah. It was just about getting Ghost, and you've got your guns back again. That's what I'm guessing has happened there, and that's why you've left the Farah. So now, we're here in Krampus again, looking for that guy rotating out. That's fair enough. I'd be expecting him to rotate from this position as well. We're just going to skip along a little bit here. There we go. We've got someone 50 meters dead ahead. Where is he going to rotate from? One more ping. Now he's no longer pinging. Immediately, I'm out that window. Okay, so you know he was there, Scotty. Now you've pinged again. He's not there. So that, that tells me that he's moving away and he's moving down and around the ridge. We'll just pause it real quick so I can pull out my pen. You can see this lower round. This is where he pinged, which is right here. He's rotating around this side of the ridge because he's no longer pinging. So you know this is low ground, low ground, low ground, and he's going to be coming up over this side. So what I would be doing is I would be pushing aggressively over here, get the high ground on the guy, trying to find him, get visuals on that homeboy because that would be good. But let's see what happens and see what Scotty does. <laughs> He's sitting on three kills, which is good. Hearing a grenade throw. So we know he's still in the vicinity, but he's off to our left. Okay, opting to take the high ground. Fair call to take the high ground. I like I like taking the high ground. I would be here checking behind me. You heard that Semtex pop off. So you want to make sure you're looking back around to that guy because he could be pushing up on your exact path that you're taking right now. There's a good chance homeboy back there is pushing that as well, which would give you a completely free kill, which is one great thing. But the other is that you're in danger that he's coming up behind you now. So it just clears your behind. So you want, you want to be mindful of that. Now... The other guy, because I don't think that Semtex was that first guy you pinged. Oh, dude snuck up. I didn't hear nor see him, but great reflexes, man. Sorry, brilliant, man. brilliant reflexes. Let's just jump back on that to see if we saw that guy at all. Uh, not sure we did coming in here. Part beater to our right. That's good to clear that because we didn't see the other side of that uh, watery region. There you go, right there. So you heard those footsteps, Scotty. That was brilliant. Two footsteps, great reaction time. Immediately ADSing up, getting him. Brilliant work, brilliant. There was literally two Sorry, footsteps. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, he says. You just heard boom, boom, you were on it. Fantastic reaction time. And it was good to be angling yourself that way already because you knew that guy was rotating, right? Because you had pinged him earlier in the game. Really good, Scotty. Love that, love that. All right, pinging a building that we're thinking of rotating towards. We haven't had a UAV up. We don't know where anything is currently. Sitting on 10k. If it was me, I'd be looking for a buy. But I like this rotation. You're not just going straight in. You're going a little bit of an angle. I would be taking my time because you've got a minute on this close and you're already almost in to be even going a little bit further right. Where you're looking right now is totally spot on. But I, yeah, good, good, good. I would be you. I would be pushing this way a little bit. Yeah, right now, that angle that you're pushing right here is where I would be going into this region here. Clearing out anyone that's pushing in from this space because you know you're going to get that building. You know you're going to rotate around to that building, but you don't know if there's people up here or not. So being careful of that is really good i would take it one step further and i would push that way because you probably could find if there's someone there that they're not expecting you brilliant checking it out again still rotating in again doing the pinwheel rotation which is a maneuver that you know we know and love in this channel we absolutely adore the pinwheel rotation. But you do want to be mindful more, a little bit more of your right. You don't need to care so much about behind you because you've just come from there or you're left at this point. But you do want to be looking right. 
you haven't actually properly cleared that right side yet as to where people could be. So this was a risky push. You didn't know if people were there. You got away with it, which we love to see. We love to see it. Now clearing the building, clearing his corners. That's fantastic. Love that. Clearing upstairs as well. When clearing that window, I would be slide cancelling into that window, just assuming that someone is there looking, right? Just always assuming every corner is going to have a bad guy in it so that we're ready to fight because there's a good chance there's going to be a rat in one of these buildings sometime. And that's how you see that these absolute demon players seem to just win these gunfights even when they don't know they're there because they're behaving like every building they push, every corner, every move. There's a player spots this guy. Little wobbly initially, but then dials that shot in. Hearing the footsteps. Nice. Fantastic. Brilliant. Brilliant. So gets this guy straight away. Boom. You hear that wood, which means you know he's up on your level. Fantastic. He was probably on your roof because he actually dropped down. That was brilliant shooting. Great play to swap your weapon, Scotty. Really love to see that. Love to see that. Rearmoring, getting up your gear again, the money, that's good. You are playing a little bit of plunder. I'd really want to be using this money. Uh, utilize it because you've got it. Already got a precision. No. You <laughs> oh, no, he's realized what he's done. <laughs> the big no from Scotty, realizing he's lost his durable. Now he's got old Krumpus on him again. Oh dear, what have we got? He's rectified the situation. Brilliant work, brilliant work. Now, I'd be wanting that buy station. You've got so much money, you could be popping an advanced UAV here to be able to know where every single person is, which would just be massive. I would also be getting that Deddy. I don't know if you saw that pop out, but there was definitely a Deddy that just popped out. Maybe now we're going to see it. I'm not sure. We may miss this one. Yeah, miss the Deddy at this point. Uh, I think Deddy is just stronger than the, the shield. Shield is good to have if you're going to carry something. Same with this. Um, so you're opting to kind of like perch up in here. That's totally fine. Playing it smart, playing it safe. Again, when I say I'm pushing the buy because I want the advance you have, that's coming from my mentality of I, I know I want to push the remaining seven players in this lobby, right? Uh, but if we're going for the dub here, playing it slow, going to a buy is risky. So you got your two play styles here, right? And Scotty is going for the dub here. And so we're actually playing it slower, holding this house, putting down the trophy is the slower option, but it's the smarter option if you want the dub. So you got you got to give that credit where it's due. 100%. You own, having a lot of money is wasted, but you, you're going for the dub here. Now you're in a 1v4 situation. Two guys have just gone down and you didn't hear anything. No gunshots, nothing, which means they're on the other side of the circle. So I'm assuming, we're going to pause this one again here. Guys, I'm assuming at this point, you're in 1v4. Look, honestly, you got two here. You probably got one here. Oh, that was a big circle. One other unknown could be in this buy station in front of you. That would be my assumption. You probably got one, one, and two. And that's how I would be reading this situation. Being that two guys just died and you didn't hear any shots, that's why I'm assuming you got at least one here and at least one here because they were far enough away that you didn't hear them. Uh, and then the others are just kind of a bit of a guess. Unlucky zone pull there. Very unlucky. Having a good study of the map here. We were paused just then. The video wasn't running, so he wasn't looking at the map for that long. <laughs> but studying it in, and I'm hoping you're thinking the same way I was just thinking. Looking at the terrain, looking at the buildings, making an assessment of where they could be. This is a great rotation. Gone early. Key is to go early on this one. He was on the far opposite side. Really rough zone pull, but he's pulling in early. That's absolutely the right play here. 1v3 situation now. We are in solos, so we know it's a whole bunch of solos. Rotating around, being very cautious here on our left. We haven't looked left too much, homie. So you want to make sure anyone in that building to your left was not there clearing that. Now you're hearing, yeah, there you go. Brilliant. Great pick. Bit bouncy on the shots, but you've done well. You've heard you have, you have, you have. You know that it's either that the buy that you've gone past or this buy just here. So you know to approach it carefully because you're probably pinging at that point, being an advance you have. And you were exactly right. And then that's exactly where the dude was. Great pick. It's good that you're now on the buy. Calling in the advance you have. Massive play. Using that money. Utilizing it to its fullest. Pinging the guy 
Brilliant, Scotty. Brilliant. Love to see it, homie. Love to see the full use of that. Now, what is he going to do? How does he want to play this? He knows where he is. I would be at least, if I'm going for the win here, and I really want the win, I would be at least taking this middle building. At least the one one step closer. If you're wanting to wait to see what zone pool does. At least get that next building. Yeah, this one in front of you. Then you can reassess zone once it's pulled in. But being back so far, you're just giving him a lot of opportunity where you did know where he was. But now we don't know where he is because we've lost eyes, you know? So even more ideal, because you know he's in that direction, I'd try and get the roof of that building in front of you. Using the very top of it as like a nasty little head glitch would be the uh, angle I'd be going here. Having a good scope for this guy, knowing that he's somewhere in front. There we go, eyes on. Good choice to mount. I like that. At those kinds of ranges, you, you do want to mount. Now, immediately watching this other player, he's slow, he's not confident, he's probably not the best player. I would be taking... Sorry, I'd be taking advantage of that, pushing in super aggressively. Now, I like that air support because you're assuming he's going left. However, you didn't see him jump over the wall, which means you actually know he's still in that corner. Now, just now is he jumping up on that wall. So I would have actually just put the airstrike straight on top of him because he hadn't jumped that wall, so you knew he was still in that corner there. Fantastic zone pull for yourself. Now, just here, guys, just so you know, see this railing here? If you go on these railings on all these houses around the map, you stand at the very, very top, you can kind of do like a funny jump and you can actually get onto the roofs of those if that's what you're wanting to do. I have a jump spot video coming out very shortly, breaking down a lot of these houses and how to get to their roofs. But that would be a great play for this moment. I'm going to have to have the music, uh, the volume muted again here because of the music. Finds the guy, gets some great shots. Good use of utility. Unfortunately, didn't get far enough, but instantly on that grenade. Brilliant. Sees him pop up, gets the kill, comes in for the finish. Good game, Scotty. Good freaking game, homie. That was brilliant. Mm. That was very good, very good, very respectable gameplay there. Guys, Scotty's done brilliant. Some of the things I'm noticing that he's done really well, his rotations were solid. Rotating around, not just pushing straight into the middle of the map. Brilliant play. Some of the things I think, Scotty, you could definitely work on is utilizing that intel that you get. You were fantastic. Hey, just take a quick note here, guys. Those who are saying, you know, maybe bot lobby or something, wrong. This guy right here, Antonovic, this guy, 6.4 KD. This lobby, not a bot lobby. We're in Australia. We are all in it together. There were some good players in this lobby. I'm just seeing that name right there, and I know that name. Not a bot. Not a bot lobby. You've done very well, homie. You've done very well. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thankfully, you didn't have to actually fight that guy because he's a demon, but you've done well. Things you could definitely improve on is utilizing that. You're actually, you've got pretty good gun skills, Scotty. Um, so utilizing the intel that you get, you do great in gathering it, but then taking advantage of that. Like when you get the heart, the, you know, the heartbeat pings and then take the high ground on them. That kind of thing. Keep that pace up and you're going to see some really high kill games, man. Because you've got decent gun skill. You've got great awareness and good reaction time. That's the kind of stuff we like to see. So definitely keep it up. I love it. I'm looking forward to review another one of your gameplays sometime. I reckon you have more kills than eight. But overall, that was a really clean, steady, good, solid gameplay that I thought was fantastic. So well done, Scotty. Great rotations. Keep those up. That's all from me, guys. Thank you so much. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop that like and share and do all those things that you do. But also, if this is something that you're interested in me doing for you, please do upload a video to YouTube and then DM me a link to this video and I would love to review some of your gameplay. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace and love. We're out of here.